We're in Stratford in East London, which will shortly be home to Europe's largest urban shopping centre. The final push of the development is occurring outside this very window as we speak. I'm joined by John Burton, who is director of Westfield Stratford City Shopping Centre. John, can you tell us how much was the Olympics the catalyst for, for, for this development? Yeah, the, what we saw here when we first um, became involved was an incredible opportunity. The fact that we've got access to over 4 million people within 45 minutes travel time, phenomenal transport uh, connections at Stratford, we knew there was an opportunity, but it was all about the timing. And as you say, um, the early days, we probably thought this project, not just the shopping centre, but all the 5,000 homes and the offices and hotels and schools and so on, would probably take roughly 40 years. Now when I look at that time scale as a result of the Olympics, I think that's probably much closer to 15 to 18 years. So that's a remarkable, as you call it, catalyst. And had you had to put in all of this infrastructure yourself as a developer, it would have cost in the region, um, Westfield estimates, £500 million. What we now have is we have many different parties, not only Westfield but the, um, the new owners of the, um, the Olympic Village, um, we have uh, the developers that will develop um, the entry to the park and we have the Olympics and the OPLC now all effectively um, sharing that, uh, that cost over a period of time and that was certainly of you know, great value to us in being able to um, kick this project uh, off uh, at the end of 2007 or beginning of 2008. Great. And your critics would argue that um, London's hosting of the Games has turned into what some might call a shopping Olympics. Uh, the statistics tell us that 70% of visitors to the Olympics will actually come through your shopping mall in order to get to the Games. Isn't this supposed to be about sport? I think, um, I think it's about sport and I think it's about people enjoying themselves. Um, certainly, you know, um, Sydney was like that. You know, the people of uh, Sydney got behind it and they had a great time. Whether it's the, the shopping Olympics, um, I very much doubt that. I mean, I'd, I'd be, um, it'd be wrong of me to suggest that there is a windfall here for, for retailers, whether they be at Stratford or whether they be in the, the West End. Um, what really matters to uh, Westfield at Stratford City is the opportunity to convince thousands, literally millions of people who will come to the Olympic Park of what has changed in East London. Okay. We're situated in the London borough of Newham here, which is one of the most deprived um, boroughs in the whole of London, if not the UK. What kind of impact are you going to have on the lives of people who, who live here? And in particular, how many jobs have you been able to offer local people from Stratford? Yeah, the, um, I mean, the, the Mayor of Newham, uh, Sir Robin Wales, has always been very, very clear to us about what he saw uh, as his priority when uh, we began our initial discussions with him, and that was he wanted jobs, and he wanted more jobs and he wanted more jobs. And so we've, we've spent a lot of time working with him to try and ensure that that actually occurred. The, the construction jobs aren't the jobs that actually matter to him. In the construction of the shopping centre here, we've probably employed now something like 28,000 different people. But they, they, those construction jobs tend to be very transitory. What really matters to the, the local community here are the jobs in retail, in catering, in hospitality and services. We've been working with uh, Newham and uh, with Sir Robin Wales and the retailers and our commitment is to try and deliver nearly two and a half thousand jobs to long-term unemployed in, in the local area. But even with those 28,000 construction jobs, you may argue they're transitory, but it's still money going into the, the wage packets of local people that they're going to spend in local shops, at local businesses. Oh. Could you not have done a, a bit more to employ locals in the construction? Well, we did. Um, you know, we've, I think we've got quite a good uh, track record here. There, um, there. Um, what we did was we did give um, and we ensured that a lot of our uh, contractors here gave priority to local uh, workers, not only to local workers here, uh, but also on apprentices and we, we worked very hard with a number of the contractors to ensure that they uh, not only took on apprentices in what was a very tough period, if you look back in the last couple of uh, years, many, many of those uh, firms were actually cutting back their skills. Getting them to employ even one extra person was quite a challenge. Now uh, we, um, we managed to get nearly 200 of those uh, you know, apprentice positions created during the construction here. I regard that as a, as a real success. And um, we also got um, uh, large numbers of the, the local community employed in not only construction jobs but logistics roles and security. So 
um, you know, I think it has been a success, particularly against the backdrop of very tough economic conditions. Okay, we'll leave it there. John Burton, thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you, Claire.